Hey guys, um, after that creepy Pokemon episode, why don't I do a Legend of Zelda episode to kind of, maybe, um, like, all, like, most of the videos were kind of off topic and on topic, mostly because, um, thinking of ideas and, uh, for, for Zelda Ween, I was trying to do sad and creepy videos at the same time because, you know, I don't know where to put my sad videos at because most of the time, most of the time, it's happiness and stuff. So, I just randomly put it in October or November because it, it, it felt right. So anyways, I'm going to do my top 7 disturbing characters in the Legend of Zelda universe. No, I'm not going to get the Kikuis because they're too darn cute. Also, all these characters are not owned by me. They are by, um, they are by Nintendo. So let's get started. Yay! Also, I almost broke my voice when I was trying to sing Error. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um... I need to drink a water first. Okay. I'm going to get started now. <laughs> so, at number seven, we have got Zant. Reason? I've seen the gameplay footage. I don't... I mean... It, no. Just no. No. I, I can't take this guy seriously. <laughs> okay, what I mean disturbing... I mean visually disturbing, appealing, or humorous in some way, and basically that's all. That's my definition of disturbing. And Zan perfectly <laughs> does this job well. With this high temper, his high screeching, which is very annoying, I must say. Um, his constant spinning. How is it? Okay, I get why Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, is dizzy, maybe. But why isn't he dizzy? I mean, he gets exhausted, but he doesn't get dizzy. I don't. I don't. I don't like this guy one bit. <laughs> Next character before I get off topic again. My most hated Zelda character. <laughs> my, my most hated Zelda character. Well, I wouldn't say hated, just most. Ugh. 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 That. <laughs> my most. Um. How should I say this? My most. Uh. Uh. I, I don't even. I. 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 I Okay, let's see the things that are wrong with Gearham that I don't like. His constant poses. What's wrong with his tongue? I don't like his theme. His dancing, it... Okay, he, he dances in the ritual. Is that part of the ritual or not? And fifth of all... I don't like his style. I don't really, like. I'm I'm not against I I'm not against males that are are acting uh, girly. I'm I'm okay with that. But with Girahim, I don't like it because well, it. it ugh. I can't think about him right now. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, one thing. Disturbing, most of all disturbing to me is his tongue. And his certain outrages, his theme, his design, his personality. <clears throat> his outfit, I'm sorry, I don't like his outfit, don't, don't, don't kill me, I don't like this character. Oh jeez, okay. Basically, I don't like this character at all. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I think he's funny, yes. 
but then again, his voice acting is okay. His movements are not okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. I, I'm not okay with his movements. Even Link is disturbed by him. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Next character before I just freak out about this character. Tangle. More awkwardness. Okay. Um. Tingle. I'm saying this. No. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I hate Tingle. I'm not saying I'm disturbed by him. Oh, well, sort of. I'm not talking about the Tingle in Majora's Mask. I'm talking about the Tingle in freaking Wind Waker. As presented in the PewDiePie video. I mean. Why in the world did I say PewDiePie? I meant Peanut Butter Gamer. As as presented in the PBG uh, G Files uh, with Tingle, you can see that he freaking made his brothers and labor spinning this whatever that is every single day without breaks. I think that is why he was sent to prison. Because he was abusing his own family! He may look childish. He... he... Okay. This guy's 35. He believes in fairies. He freaking wears red undies. I don't care. This guy is... To me... Is... Just very awkward. More awkward than Garaham. Actually, never mind. Garaham is more awkward than Tingle. Whatever. I mean, what? What? Why would Tingle be such a strange character? I can't talk. I'm jittery now. Maybe because I was too. I, I was talking too much about Garaham. But whatever. Next character before my mind goes kabuko. I didn't clean that. <laughs> Sorry, I need to clean something on my screen. Um, the windmill guy from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I'm not disturbed by this guy. Okay, maybe I am. But I really like his song, The Song of Storms. I really like his, uh... His character design, it looks, it looks funny. Um, and I like his personality. Kinda reminds me of someone I know. <laughs> but anyways, I really like this guy because, well, he just, he, he just really wants to be popular, but in a good way. He wants to make people happy with his music. He got kicked out of this, he got kicked out of the stock pot in in Majora's Mask because he was playing the music for too long. He got thwarted by a little kid. <laughs> I mean, cut this guy some slack, man. He just wants to play his freaking windmill thing. He just wants to play some music and tell some stories. Give this guy a break or something. Give this guy a holiday. I need a drink. I don't even know what, what number we're on. I think we're on number five. <laughs> so anyways, um, next character. The Garo Master. I have actually drawn the Garo Master um, on my DeviantArt. You can go check that out sometime. Maybe. I did stuff. Um, anyways, I really love the Garo Master. Um, their their clan or their club or whatever the secret society or whatever um they are ninjas basically um they are they are basically the they are basically the spies and the ninjas of the Icona Valley 
with their secret protective masks and vanishes. And but uh, but this one is very important because his 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 swords are golden and 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 they're on fire. <laughs> But what's sad about this character is that he had to end so. Su oh, okay, never mind. I just remember that he didn't end. He didn't commit suicide. He came back like freaking two times. This guy really ages. Anyways, um, I love this character. I love its design. I love where it's from. I love this. I love this guy's. Baxter origin thingy majiggy stuff and more stuff. Anyways, I'm getting off topic again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get I get off topic a lot in my top and my top nine, top seven, top whatever videos. Alright, geez. Next next character. Here's the happy mass salesman. You probably all know this by now. The happy mass salesman is my number one favorite character in Legend of Zelda. He's from my favorite game. I love his song. He's an important role in one of in one of my favorite games, as I just said before in my last theory video. <clears throat> I love his outbursts. I love his song for the second time. <laughs> in reverse! <laughs> He also came from two of my favorite creepypastas, Ben Drown and ha uh, Happiness for Sale. And overall, this character is awesome. This, this character is awesome. He taught me a lot of lessons about happiness. So yeah, I've been... I've I've spent 12 minutes just like half of the video is just me rambling about gear him. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I just don't like his character. Just, just, just go away. <sighs> so basically, these are all my disturbing top seven disturbing characters in the Legend of Zelda. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yay. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna try for a with you and uh. I'm tired. <laughs>